the seemingly never-ending landscape of Argentina's Patagonia. A pristine land that Roberto Velocchio would like to see flourish. He's a farmer and his family has been living here for almost 200 years. Now a food company based in China is eyeing this part of the country and its potential to grow its own food. Nobody cared much about this part of the world. Now the Chinese are offering to invest in the area and we will pay them back with our crops that would be exported back to China. Roberto's land is in the province of Rio Negro. China's Beidahuang Food Company has agreed to lease over 300,000 hectares of land here to grow genetically modified soya, corn and other crops. Water is scarce in this part of Argentina. In fact, people here tell us that it hasn't rained since January. You can see how low the water is in this hydroelectric plant. The Chinese say that they will invest in infrastructure and that they will rebuild the badly damaged irrigation system in the area. But not all the news is good for people here. Norma owns a small piece of land where instead of soya beans, she grows fruits. She's afraid of the environmental damage that comes with excessive use of agrochemicals involved in large-scale farming. They're talking about taking over the last valleys in Latin America to produce soy for China's pigs and for biodiesel. This is not leaving anything for us, only the contamination left behind by the agrochemicals involved in growing soya beans. The agreement between the Chinese and the Rio Negro province comes at a time when President Cristina Kirchner is hoping to pass a law that would prevent foreigners from buying large extensions of land. But it does not prevent them from renting it. Some social groups say the law is useless. A law to prevent foreigners from buying won't prevent land grabbing from taking place because in Argentina it's about using the land, not owning it. In fact, for the Chinese it is easier to come, use the land, destroy it, and then leave. While some view the deal with Beida Huang as a beneficial one, others see it as an example of the latest form of exploitation, one that allows powerful nations to come to the ends of the world to grow the food they cannot cultivate back at home. Teresa Bo, Al Jazeera, Rio Negro.